Welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 Career Mode. Once again, we are in Season 5, and we're coming off a really successful Charlotte weekend. So we won the All-Star Race, and we finished second in the Coke 600. I really wanted to sweep, but uh, I came up just short to Ryan Newman. So we'll give you a look at the point standings, the updated point standings. So we now find ourselves 127 points back to Tony Stewart. Still a long ways to go, but uh, he is the guy we are chasing. I kind of killed Jeff Gordon at Charlotte, so uh, he now finds himself 93 points back. So... So we got a lot of players hanging around. Kevin Harvick Jr., Jimmy Johnson, ourselves, Mark Martin, and Jeff Gordon. So I uh, still have a lot to be decided. So after winning the All-Star Race, obviously we got that million-dollar bonus. So we are working on a shop edition. We got nine races left on this. Sheet metal plates that will give us plus 10 body downforce. So we're going on to Dover today, and we'll go ahead and hop into it. So we'll show you what we got going on here. Still not going to use our best stuff yet. We're going we're gonna to bring, uh, bring some good stuff, not our, not our best. Got an engine overhaul going. Still got 79 engine power, which is not too bad. And the body, not great, but uh, it comes out to 82 core ratings. That's pretty pretty solid. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Welcome to Delaware for the running of the MBNA Armed Forces Family 400 at Dover International Speedway. Now, Barney, this is one of the tougher tracks that we come to. Why is that? This place has got high bank concrete corners that can be really tricky for some drivers. You've got to always be thinking ahead in this race and planning your pass as well. Otherwise, you may quickly find yourself in the wall. In 1992, Kyle Petty enjoyed one of his finest seasons in Winston Cup with a fifth place points finish, two wins, and five front row starting spots. And he followed that up with another fifth place points finish the next year. But after that, he struggled for a long, long while, reaching a career low of 43rd place after the 2001 season. The Otoban Ford has not had the finishes he's hoped for in the past couple races. And trust me, it hasn't been for the lack of effort. Those guys have been working hard all season. Maybe they can right the ship with a good finish here. The 83 car is currently at the top of the points list. You know, I'll tell you, consistency is the key to the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship. If he can remain focused on that, he has a good shot at winning. Okie dokie, here we go. So we are coming from deep. We got Jimmy Johnson, Ryan Newman on the front row. Oh my God, look at the rivals. Oh brother. Oh, look at that restart gear. Sweet Jesus, I'm gonna go by right, right by a couple of them here. Hell uh, yeah. Now a couple of these like, I'm dead. Motherfucker. <sighs> that, that damn thing didn't turn. Apologies. Man, this is like any of our first three seasons, I actually would be dead. But we're okay. Woohoo, durability. Shout out to the guys back in the shop for putting a great car, a great dur durable car together. Look at that. Barely even a scratch. <laughs> I just got hooked, man. It's, it's, I, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. All right, well, I might as well get to pits. I mean, I'm back here and fix the damn car up, put some, put some tires in there, put some fuel in there, and we'll, we'll be okay. All right, boys. Million dollar pit stop right there. There you go. Put it back together. Maybe you didn't have a lot of damage anyways, but that's okay. All right, let's try it again. This time we're not going to eat shit, right? I hope not. Oh, God. Right into David Green's rear end. And I, <laughs> now he's pissed. Oh, boy. I got left front damage. Okay. I wanted to go outside, but he was so slow and I was so fast. I just went right into his rear end. All right. Yeah, this is a this this is a bad this this is just yeah this is not a good idea coming from the back won't lie because this track is so hard to pass and it's really easy to miss your line I mean I did it on lap one turn one so if that tells you anything <sighs> thought he was gonna right rear me and I was gonna die again we're okay thank you Ron I gotta get I gotta at least get by all these slow guys while I can while I'm on fresh tires. Or while I'm, uh, well, yeah, while I'm on fresh tires. These tires are gonna go away real quick. Yeah, nobody likes you. This motherfucker's gonna cross me over. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. Fuck out of here. Ooh, Christian. How we doing, Christian? 
But I did it right there, dude. Every, every pass is just butthole puckers, man. I suck a little bit of the chair up my rear end every time I go to pass somebody in this damn track. Oh man, but we got a fast car, man. I definitely think we can contend for the win. We just got, we got to get through these knuckleheads. There you go, nice run down the front. They checked up a little bit. I know I pissed Brian Vickers off of that crap. Ooh, Stin! God, what a weapon. Shout out to Sam Baird. I think he's actually, uh, I read that he's running the Xfinity race this weekend at Watkins Glen. Hell yeah. Look forward to it. There you go, big old run down the front. Again, not a whole lot of downforce, so we got pretty pretty solid straightaway speed for Dover, so that factors in. And honestly, for whatever reason, we got enough mechanical grip, we can, I mean, we can rip through the damn corners. Oh, this is this buddy, right? No, I don't know who that is. Oh yeah, yeah, that's Jared Jones. That's what I thought. Ah, I, one of these days I'm gonna start. I'm gonna stop driving down that apron. That's where I get myself really in big trouble. It's really easy just to drive down there. You, it can't hug that that transition too well, so or at least I can't. Huh? Ugh. Look at Casey Mears. Shout out to Casey Mears. He's slowly kind of getting better, I guess. At least, I mean, he's not like in the last like three or four spots like he usually was. I mean, 25th, not bad. There you go. Herman just going to drive right by you, buddy. I'll be seeing you. Nice. Not a bad run for Herman either. Oh, boy. We got a wad of them right here. Um, it's probably a bad idea, but. Oh, there we go. I actually got a pinned right there. Hell yeah. Oh, God. Man, turn two is scary. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, we broke that water up real quick. Oh, man. Kenny. Oh, man. I'm starting to drift a little bit on corner entry. This is fun. We're making progress, though, all the way up to P18. To look now, but, yeah, I am catching the leader when I've got clean track. The problem is I've lost a lot of time because I haven't had a clean track. But halfway on fuel already. Three out of four of my tires are already worn, so. Yeah, once again, I think we got a race winning car. I think. It's close. I'm not really sure if we're going to have enough by the time, you know, if we get there. But uh, obviously we're going to have a lot of ground to make up. We've cut it to about eight seconds flat. So we've got close, we got close enough speed. We'll see how we cycle through the pit stops and everything. We're gonna need some big pit stops today, you know, so no fuck ups. All right, Jamie, last car, this little string. That'll put us P14. We're coming. Ooh, Mike. Oh, you gonna block? Why you? Oh, why? He's just salty because I ditched him, or they ditched me. But I, I tanked so they could, so I could ditch him, or they could ditch me. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. Whatever. I didn't like driving. I, I mean, I like driving for you. I won you a damn championship. Shit. Good old Jeff Green. Anybody remember the fun time I had with Jeff Green here at Dover and like season, I don't know what season that was. Season two, maybe? Yeah, you should. Oh, that was. That. Not cool, man. Not cool. He about flipped him, damn. He, he about flipped himself. Oh, man. Look at that. Got up on two wheels and everything. Good job, Steve. Jeff. Damn it. Oh, damn. Right front already hit red. That's not good. <laughs> Damn. That tire wear is pretty awful still here. But you know what? To be fair, it's still driving pretty damn good with a red right front. Usually it, it clips really bad when you get to that point. But, I mean, it's still doing pretty good. We're still, f like, flying past these guys. That's that's encouraging. All right. I mean, we still got a little ways to go in this field. I mean, to be fair, we are in the window. We probably could hit pit road. And honestly, I might short pit and get those fresh tires sooner. Cause, I mean, obviously, our pace... It's fallen off. It hasn't fallen off a, a whole lot, but it's it's fallen off. It'll be like the last couple of races, I guess. Charlotte uh, and then Richmond. Uh, we'll do like 30, 35 lap stints. So we are in the window if we wanted to right now, but I think I'm at least probably run this to about 35 if I can. All right. Well, it is time for me to get some pits. What the hell? Oh, hey, it's Jeff Gordon. We gotta we gotta beat him for our. Uh, Oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. oh, there's one up and over. <laughs> that was actually a good call then, okay. Up and over. Oh, it's Ricky Craven, watch. Boom. Oh, no. Oh, that's death. 
Oh, you hate to see it. Look at this. Up and over, Ricky Craven. I was trying to get to Pit Road, and Bobby Labonte was kind of in my way. And, um, damn, yeah, I, um, I was like, I was, originally I was trying to go around him, and then I just kind of went into him, and then I don't know why he came up the track, I, you know, whatever, but, yeah, that was, um, that was a weird, a weird series of events there. <laughs> All right, boys, you know the deal. Fix it up. Four tires, four freshies, and fuel. Oh, boy. Already losing spots. 16. Uh, not too bad. With damage, that's pretty good. Some guys stayed out to gain track position. Yeah, I think some guys actually did stay out this time. Usually, Tubby lies to me, but... Oh, boy. So, I'm 13th. Oh, hell yeah. God bless the restart gear. Hell yeah. Uh, of course, we got a shitload of lap cars in the mix here, so. Yeah, we're just. We're gonna try not to chunk it! I'm so sorry, Mark! <laughs> Good lord. We're okay, I think he's okay too. Oh, never mind, maybe not. Uh, that might have been Mark Martin, that also might have been Debris. I'm not really sure. Oopsies. Well, um. No, it was Debris. Yeah, Bobby Labonte does not have an ass anymore. <laughs> Oh, man. There it went. Oh, man. Dude, that should have cut like eight tires down at least. Everybody running that thing over. All right, I'm staying out. Oh, crap. I'm on the outside. All right, here. Look how good of restarts I get, man. Damn, I should have cut down when I had the chance. I still got a chance. There we go. All right. Yeah, hopefully we never have to restart on the outside line again. We're all right. We still got a lot of lap cars to get through, but we're P7. This is the highest we've been all damn day. Oh, cut this to the bottom. Hell yeah. Look at all the slow cars stacking everything up. Hell yeah. Damn, it's like, yeah, we're up to P4. Easy. Easy. I know we're three wide. Jason Kennedy. All right, Ron's pissed. Oop. Ron's still pissed. All right, Ron. Uh -huh. I definitely got me more out of shape than I thought. We're okay. Oh, God, don't hit him. Don't hit him. Okay. Bobby's getting some pits. I'm not sure why Bobby was still out here anyways, but, uh, yeah, that's that's going to ruin his day for sure. So who's the – Kenny Wallace is the leader. Why? How? Who? What? When? Where? Why? Okay. Now we just – we got to get by David Green, which we can do that right here. Oh, my God, David. Oh, and he <laughs> Way to go! Oh, come on, get the lead, get the lead. Look at Kenny Wall's blocking. He knows it too. Damn. Oh, no, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him, yeah! There it is, let me get that. He almost flipped hitting me over, man. Oh, my God, watch this. Oh, and he just, he just kind of came back, back up and... Oh, that actually killed McMurray. That's what happened. And then David Green took Dale Jr. home. That was a really weird sequence of events again. What the hell? Look at what are they? What are those guys? Oh, I see David Green died. Okay, I see. Yeah, good for him. That's what he gets. Dickhead. And look at that. Now down 85 points to Tony Stewart. I don't know where Tony Stewart's at, but here we are. Restart gear. Uh-huh. As the best spot to use the restart gear right there. Well, just like that, we're past halfway. We've made it into the lead. <laughs> Somehow, some way. And we are uh, we're about good to go. We're only going to need one more pit stop, which is going to be coming up probably in the next uh, less than 20 laps. That's probably Kenny Wallace, I'd imagine. He's getting some pits because he had stayed out up. And, what, dude? Kenny Wallace, you had it made. What are you doing, man? You had that out of the caution. Oh, boy. Well, it has been a rough Dover race, and it hasn't really all been my fault. I guess technically sort of, kind of, but there's Kenny Wallace coming out of Pit Road. Yeah, this, this has been a weird one. A lot of, a lot of unordinary cautions, but um, <laughs> hey, I'll take them, man. It's actually benefited me really well, even though everybody's been targeting me. I'm not really sure who was leading. Whoever was leading was really fast, and he had pretty much pulled away from the entire field. I want to say it was Dale Jr., but I'm not sure. Maybe it was Ryan Newman. I don't even remember seeing Ryan Newman at all. 
I guess I passed him at some point uh, when I was getting through the lap cars there on one of the restarts. But, yeah, Ryan Newman's uh, P4 right now. So, we got this clean air, man. I'm just driving the hell away. This, is, I mean, this, this couldn't work out. I don't think it could have worked out much better. Ooh, a lot of cars on pit road here. Yeah, we are getting close to that, uh, I guess, the fuel way that was open for pretty much everybody. So, I mean, I mean, I got a little ways to go, that's for sure. There's still, we're a little under half a tank, so. I'm taking this one to, at the very least, lap 70. Probably a little bit less. That way we've uh, we got a pretty good tire stand there at the end. Is that Kenny Wallace pitting again? It is. Bold strategy. Oh, brother. Yeah, a lot of cars coming out there. I, Kenny Wallace, man. Shout out to Kenny Wallace. Had the opportunity to pit under green. Or, I'm sorry, pit under caution so he didn't have to pit under green. And what did he do? He stayed out. <laughs> pit under green. And then came back and hit pit road again on the green. Oh my god, he's gonna be like four laps down by by the time everything shuffles. Ah uh, yeah, look who it is. Newman has made his way up in a second now. And he's flirting with my lap times. Oh brother. I like to beat him this week. He got me he got the best of me at the Coke six hundred, wrecked my shit. And won the race. I like to think I can beat him this week. If not, if he catches me, then I'll probably just wreck him instead, so, I mean, it's up to him. Oh, boy. All right, Christian. Thanks for leaving me a little bit of room, I guess. It's kind of blocking me there when I got up to him, but, all right. I'll spare you. There we went the right front red. Well, I think now's about a good time to come down pit road. I might run a couple more, honestly. I think Michael Waltrip's faster since he's got these... Oh, I'm glad I didn't. All right. Wow, this changes a lot of things. I guess that's a debris caution. Yeah, I'm glad I stayed out. Then again, if I would have hit pit road, yeah, if Jeff Green lost his hood. If I would have hit pit road, at the right time, I could have stayed on the lead lap, but... Yeah, it's a good thing I... Yeah. The only problem with this, though, is all these people are going to be able to stay out, so... We're going to have to come through a lot of cars here to get back to the lead. Yes, pit road. All right. Well, we can make it from here, no problem. Um, yeah, we're just going to... I'm going to fix my damage because Lord knows I'm going to run into somebody coming up through here. All right, boys. We're supposed to have a 17 seconds on pit stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little under. Good stuff. Didn't lose too many spots there on... Well, I didn't lose any spots on pit road. Traffic to what? Them. Says it came out first. I find that hard to believe. Oh, that's right, cause they're lap down. That, that's right. Uh, never mind. I'm not. I'm not first. Jeff Gordon's out first. Good to know. What the hell strategy is Jeff Gordon on? He might have. He's probably still has to pit. Either that, or he actually stayed on the lead lap, which I don't. I don't think would have happened. But oh, damn it. And now Harvick's pissed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, they're bouncing off each other. Way to go, Kevin. Who's going to learn? Oh, God. Oh, man. God bless the tire grip, man. It kept me out of the wall there. That could have been bad. All right. All we got to do is track down Jeff Gordon. We got to get through these couple knuckleheads here, but that's all we got to do. And I still think even Jeff Gordon has to come down pit road. So, I didn't really want to see him lead any laps because... That's, that's, you know, that's extra five points for him. You never know. It could come down to that, but I don't know if it will or not. Yeah, I think he's going to be pitting here. And, oh, I'm sorry. That was probably for the best. I was trying to line it up there, coming off into the corner. Gave him a little shot. Oh, look at this. Yeah. There's no way he's got fresh tires. Yeah, block it on up, Jeff. I'll have you know, my sponsor wants me to beat you, and they're going to give me extra money if I do. That's right. Back to the lead. We'll be seeing you. The only guy I'm worried about at this point is Ryan Newman, and I don't know where he's at. I would imagine he's still stuck back here in traffic, but that's exactly what we needed to do. Uh, not wreck, and um, and get back to the lead. Okay, Ryan Newman is in P4. Already, right, it's uh, nearly two seconds back. So we run a quick 20 or so laps around Dover. We'll be a race winner. And the fun part about this is, I don't think. We're quite gonna hit lap traffic before the end of this thing. The Dale Jr. is catching me. Well, typical. I catch Christopher Fittipaldi. 
<laughs> sorry, now he's best. I'm sorry, God, so I'm damn slow. Like, how are you this far off of everybody else? Oh, hell yeah, that's good. Here we come, five to go. We're looking good. We're going to catch the tail end of the lap traffic, but all these guys are pretty strong out, and they're, they're pretty damn slow. So Dale Jr. once again is catching me. Unfortunately, we don't quite have the long run pace as I, as I, uh, yeah, I, I've, I've noticed. So um, that's cool. I mean, we're we're still damn fast on the short run. I mean, we get, we gain so much time, and honestly, we don't fall off too bad. But Dale Jr. and two ever else back there is definitely quicker. So um, the good thing is we have pretty much run out of time, so we're gonna have to do something really stupid for those guys to catch us. So down at 2.4 seconds he is catching me it was three it was over three. Oh, Elliot Sadler blew up and rip all right Greg you're gonna let me buy right Number 16, good guy five. Greg appreciate your post for Greg oh god there goes the right front oh god okay nothing stupid I ain't passing a damn car now all right Greg you're just gonna sit behind me right White flag, down to two seconds. Yeah, I ain't getting close to Ron. Man, look at that thing, skid. We're good, we're good, we're good. GG field through three and four. I don't know how many wins we got this season, but here's another one. Let's get it. We're gonna cut that championship lead down by a little bit more. Yeah! Yeah! I had like eight people try and take a swipe of my life today, but Everybody failed. That's right. Another W. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Hell yeah. I'm going to burn this motherfucker down. Man, it feels good to win at Dover because we used to suck here so damn bad. What's that thing knocking? Oh, it's not going to last very long. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was a goody car right there, man. That was a, that was a goody. Yeah! Back in victory lane. I want to say we've won this race before, but... Uh, Feels good, man. Once again, I mentioned it before, but y'all yeah, remember when we used to suck really bad at Dover? But we're a winner. We've won a couple times now at Dover. Feels good, man. Feels really good. Look at that black fire suit. <laughs> Would be kind of cool to have our sponsor logos on there, but that's okay. It look kind of goofy. At least we didn't tear it up too bad. We were definitely in a lot of a lot of crashes and stuff, but uh, we held on. There you go. Big old check and. Um, Better get a trophy with that too. There it is. Oh yeah, the big cup. I remember that one. Sweet. All right, some rivals were made, but uh, it seems like most of them should have probably gone down. So, look at that, man. 2.55 million from the sponsors. Good lord, baby Jesus. 13,000 awards and 168,000 race winnings. Very nice. Take a look at that. 49 laps led. So yeah, Jimmy Johnson actually dominated the race um, up until we did. So, not who I would have picked. Dale Jr. led a lap. Newman finished third. Mark Martin fourth. Jimmy Johnson fifth. Where did Jeff Gordon go? He actually, yeah, I guess he, okay, he led four laps. He ended up just finishing 12th, so I guess he made it. But, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Look at Chase Montgomery. 14th. Casey Mears, 15th. I guess these guys played the cautions right. E. Hall, 17th. Good for those guys. So, I'll take a look at the rest of it here. All the way down, we had a handful of DNFs. Jamie McMurray, David Green, Ricky Craven. F. Oh, boy, we got Pocono next. Fun. That's probably, honestly, I'll either use my, my best equipment there or Michigan. Oh, look at that. Just like that. P2 in points. 84 points behind Tony Stewart. We, we've seen this story before. Tony Stewart, yeah, all, all big and bad the first half of the season. But just you wait. It's good. He'll get some bad luck. But there you have it. So, yeah, all these guys, 200, uh, 200 or less back, 180, 179, 103. So, I definitely still say a lot of these guys probably still in it. I'll take a look at the team management here. So, let's uh, let's get some stuff rolling if we can. Okay. Well, I can't get anything going because I either have some repairing or overhauling for, <laughs> for uh, yeah, everything. So, never mind then. So, I guess, uh, yeah, that'll do it. So, we're going on to Pocono next. That would be a fun race to win, but I don't think it's going to happen, man. I that's uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to tame that track, but 
Uh, fi find out next episode. We'll see. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. That'll do it for me. Appreciate y'all as always, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.